If your ex is a dismissive avoidant, never say to them, hey, I don't wanna just be friends. You need to go away and come back when you're ready to finally work on this relationship. Hey, I'm Coach Benny, and I help people get their exes back. And the problem with doing something like this is that your dismissive avoidant ex has a fear of commitment, and they also have a fear of conflict, and they're not great at communication. So this scenario right here is the perfect storm for them to basically hesitate and never come back ever. And especially if you've drawn a line in the sand, you're like, well, I can't go back to them. I've already set my terms and either they're coming back or, or nothing, you know, then nobody's gonna get anywhere. And that's fine if you actually want a different relationship, okay? But if you want a shot with this particular person, you cannot do something like that. Now, depending on how recently you've said this to somebody, you might wanna go ahead and reverse it right away, not by taking it back, but by actually reaching out to them in a fun and casual way. And this is something I can help you do. But a lot of people make these kind of statements because they don't know what else to do and because they're impatient and they want a resolution right now. They don't want to get drugged through the emotional, you know, field, like, a, like just getting pulled behind the horse, you know? So I understand why you would want to say something like this to your ex. Hey, I can't just be friends with you. Come back when you're ready to work on things. It's a very principled and self-respecting thing to say. I get it. But dismissive avoidance really doubt their capacity to perform in relationships. They're never sure that they're gonna be ready to work on the relationship. You might say, well, good, then I maybe I don't want them, and that's fine, that's fine. But a lot of you guys actually do want them back, okay? And if that's the case, you need to utilize friendship, and not actually being friends with them, but they can call it whatever they want. You need to utilize that as a chance to work them over with charisma, slowly bring them back in, and then later, once you've risen of the feelings, you know, that level of feelings between y'all two, Reinvestigate, uh, reinvestigate the commitment after you spike the mood up. And there's a whole process for this, and this is what I teach on my one-on-one -on -one calls. So even though it sounds like just being friends is exactly what you don't want, okay, you can actually utilize that to get what you do want, and that will give them the uh, sort of like the slow ease in, okay, and that'll give you a chance to raise feelings, you know, to trump that dismissive one, it's fear of commitment. And if you want my help with this process, click in my profile, click this link, set up a call with me, and I'll give you a step-by-step -step plan to get your ex back.